Hello everyone, this is Zipram. Welcome to another episode of Redstone Trickery. In today's episode we will talk about item elevators using the new dropper method. Um, as always, all feedback is much appreciated and I hope you enjoy. So let's start with the basics of the dropper. With the addition of the up-facing and down-facing droppers and, and dispensers, we can now do stuff like this and shoot items up. Now, if you remember from my dropper uh, review, um, droppers pointing directly at a container will shoot items into that container. And I suppose you can see where I'm going with this. We can do stuff like this and move them upwards. Now, the reason why the, the wool here skips this one is because when this one is power powered, it will shoot in this one, but it will also power this one because of this block and it will shoot one more up. So basically what we need is some kind of clock system which will trigger um, all droppers um, at a different time which will just shoot items upwards. I will start filling in this dropper and start the elevator and you can see them arriving here it will take a while for all of them to, to arrive at the top but it works however you can hear the ticking sound and that's pretty annoying because even though there are no items this thing will work forever which isn't that useful we would want something that would only trigger and Oh, now you can hear it, it's very annoying. We, we would want something that only triggers when there is an item in it, it will send it to the next dropper. So I came up with this and well it uses pistons so it's pretty expensive but it's very compact. However it doesn't work because for some reason droppers powered by redstone blocks won't drop their their items so this one doesn't work however the the idea behind it it's when an item comes in here this piston powers the dropper it will it should push it into the next one into the next one into the next one into the chest however it doesn't work so I came up with this one which is it, it's large right it's insane actually um, to build in survival if you want very high but it does work it's it's as fast as the the hopper gives the input and yeah we can see the items arrive here um, there is a flaw with this one you you need um, a one hopper input you can't input uh, you can make an input stream with two hoppers which will well, I should do it at this side. No. Nope. Well, if you do it with two hoppers, it will just get stuck because it's it's a, a too too fast input stream. So this works. It's slow, but yeah, there are some advantages with with this setup. Um, because um, if you use the normal item elevators, your items have to be uh, dropped and can despawn it's it's this one is much more safe but yeah slow and expensive this one is even more expensive because you need uh, a hopper and a dropper per layer it's just another design I came up with it's a bit faster I think but yeah I think this one is the best um, and let me quickly show you what what can't which is well that that's pretty sad because if this would work we wouldn't need all this uh, fancy machines this is just a basic item elevator setup and well what happens you would expect items to be shot by the dropper up 
straight up, but it doesn't happen. They they get some some left and right momentum, as you can see. Same happens with dispensers. So, yeah, that's that's too sad. Well, it's it's the way the droppers work. It's it's normal because if you have a, a normal dropper, it would have some. Well, it would spread the items right to the left and the right, so it, it's obvious that it doesn't work. But it's sad. Maybe if they fix that, we wouldn't need all this stuff. But yeah, it's the way it works. So the way this one works, I will explain very quickly. Um, the thing you do is let me grab some of this stuff. you check if there is an item in this one and if so you power it so as soon as there is an item in this one it will get powered now you can stack these like this like that and you can make it them as high as as you want and then yeah thing that happens it will get shot up um you would need uh, a hopper input though because you cannot put a whole stack in it it will oh oh well it will it would work yeah oh that's pretty nice okay forgot what i said yeah, it would work because of this torch, which is good, but it's still slow. So, hmm, yeah, let's just wait a little bit more um, before we really decide to make these designs, I think. Um, I want to see what the next snapshot brings. Maybe this will get fixed, well, added. It's not, it's not a bug, but it would be nice if it uh, if it would work and otherwise we would sh we should go with such a design I think maybe it can be more compacted I don't know um, that's up to the to everyone around on YouTube um, so yeah uh, that's it thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed see you next time